People always ask me, Chester, how do I animate faster? So maybe you've seen some of the live streams I've done where I've animated from a random prompt in three hours and made something okay. Or you know, like I come from TV where you animate six, eight seconds a day and it does make sense to you. How do you animate so fast? Oh my God, so quick. This sounds insane to some people, but there's loads of steps that you can take which can improve your workflow. And that's what we're gonna cover in this series. Now, of course, a lot of animating quick just comes with experience and making good decisions. But I'm gonna talk about one thing that you can really simply change, which is just gonna make you faster no questions asked. And that thing is hotkeys. Now you probably already know what hotkeys are, but in case you don't, hotkeys, according to Google, are a key or a combination of keys providing quick access to a particular function within your animation software. So instead of sifting through the UI or moving your mouse around to find a certain button to click, you can just simply press a button on your keyboard and it does it instantly. And these things can cover really simple functions or really complex functions. Instead of me moving my mouse all the way over to press the play button, I can just press a hotkey on my keyboard. Now each animation software package has their own default hotkeys. Some of them are better than others. Some of them have really functional uses and some don't. What we're gonna do is change our default animation hotkeys and make them more suitable for animation specifically. So some people might say, oh, Chester, how do I follow a video tutorial if my hotkeys are different to theirs? Well, you can go back to defaults at any time. You can swap it. And then when you're animating again solo, you swap it back. It's very easy. So if you're using Maya, you just go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Hotkey Editor. This is where you're gonna change all your hotkeys there. In Blender, you go Edit, Preferences, Key Map. And in here, you can also make all your hotkey changes. Before we get into talking about specific hotkeys to change, I wanna talk about the overall mindset behind changing your hotkeys and where you wanna put them. In my mind, the philosophy of hotkeys. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> now there's already a really great animation exchange talk by Chris Goodall, who's a great animator, who talks about some of these concepts, but I'm also gonna reiterate them here. So go check out that video also. The underlying idea of changing our hotkeys is to maximize our flow state by reducing as much friction as possible. This allows us to get our ideas onto the screen with the minimal amount of fuss. The point isn't to simply save a few seconds here and a few seconds there, it's to get you into a flow state so you animate quicker and for longer and it's more enjoyable. Here's a quick example of how I might find out a hotkey that I wanna use. Let's say I regularly right click and delete keys from the timeline, okay? So I should make that a hotkey. So one really easy way of doing that is just by pressing our script editor button down here. If you go to history, echo all commands, now whatever I do in the timeline, I can see as mail script. So if I right click delete, Timeline a clear key comes up here. So that's the command, mail command that does that function, right? So now if I go to Windows Settings and Preferences Hotkey Editor, as we discussed earlier, if I go into custom scripts and I go over to a runtime command error, I can make a new custom script. Let's just call it delete key um, and make sure it's on mail script. And I paste this in here and I save as runtime command. Scroll down to your unused keys, which should be at the bottom here. And now I can set this to whatever key I want. So I want it on X because that's what I use for delete key. And there you go. It's set up, ready to go. Now, if I go on my timeline and I press X, it deletes it. I don't have to right click and delete things all the time. It's way quicker. So here's a few key tips when considering what keys to move and where to move them. Let's go girls. Now I'm a strong believer in putting all of your hotkeys onto your left side of your keyboard. That means that you move your hand the least amount of distance to hit all of your hotkeys. And the general idea is the more you use a hotkey, the more easily accessible it is. I take this so seriously that I animate with half a keyboard. Bruh. As a side note, this is actually better for ergonomics as well. As I animate with a tablet, I can now animate with my shoulders straight. Instead of having to reach over to my keyboard with one arm and back my tablet with the other, I can now have my half keyboard laid next to my tablet. Now having all the hotkeys on one side of the keyboard not only reduces the amount of time it takes to hit those hotkeys, but again, it's all about reducing friction. We're all about streamlining as much as possible. Any action that you do regularly should be a hotkey. You're moving your mouse over to press the play button, should be a hotkey. You're moving your hand across the keyboard to switch between your keyframes, should be a hotkey. You want to frame through a frame forward, a frame back, so that you can quickly flip through your animation, make it a hotkey. Now this video isn't about me showing off every hotkey I have because I have a ton, but understanding the underlying thought process so that you can go away and adjust your workflow to improve your speed as an animator. I also want to keep this as software independent as possible, so my users can learn from this and Blender users can learn from this as well. But just for you, here's a little glimpse of some of my favorite hotkeys that I use all the time whilst animating. And a side note, all of these things are gonna be shown in Maya for now, but for all you Blender guys out there as well, you can use all of these things in Blender. It's just different setups to get them working, but they'll definitely save you time. So stick around. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. A hotkey to flip between your keyframes. A hotkey to go forward one frame and back one frame. 
A hotkey that deletes the current timeline frame on all selected objects. A hotkey to play the animation. A hotkey which switches between your camera view and perspective. A hotkey which crops your timeline based on the current frame you're on, from both left and right side, and then toggles back to the non-cropped version <laughs> by pressing it again. A hotkey which cycles between the different spaces per manipulator. So translate goes object, parent and world, rotate goes object, world and gimbal and so on. And for everyone that uses Animbot, here's some hotkeys I use over there as well. Nudge key, left and right. Reset the pose. This will reset anything selected in the channel box as well, which is super useful. The micro manipulator, which lets you move any of your rotation or translation or scale axes, but really small, which is useful when doing really tight spacing. Clear the channel box selection. So if I have anything highlighted in the channel box, even flipping between keys doesn't deselect that. So it's really quick and easy to have a hotkey set up to do that. Scaling my current selection based on the key to the left. This is really useful for graph editor cleanup and just in general when posing, you can scale things up or down. Scale to the left by minus 100% and to the right by minus 100% for that matter. Basically it will flip the whole curve based on the next key to the left. This is where I'm going to leave this video for now, but if you want to follow up covering even more ways to speed up your workflow, like animation pickers, optimizing your screen space, studio library, different scripts, all kinds of stuff, make sure to comment below, give it a like, subscribe, share it with your friends, all of those things. And maybe one day I can hit that 4,000 watch hours so YouTube can start paying me a few pennies for making these videos, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? See you later. Hazel, what do you think of hotkeys? What do you think of hotkeys, Hazel? <laughs> what do you think of hotkeys? <laughs>